They've done so much in this in this community. I don't even realize. I don't even think they realize how much they've done. Like right now, we can do a video and you don't hear not one gunshot. But it back in my like maybe ten years, six, seven, eight years from now, ain't no way I would have sat on this porch and did this right here. When the people of praise moved into the neighborhood the energy started shifting. I mean, God does say, you know, love thy neighbor. That's his greatest commitment, love thy neighbor. And that's what the people of praise brought to the neighborhood. You know, that care. I care about you, I love you. I wanna show you the love of God. They walk up and down the street, they, you know, start talking to people. They then they always wanted to pray, always would love to pray with you. At the time, they were singing like real, like nice songs that I, got to love. It was just something about the way that the people sung and they interacted with like the neighborhood people. Everybody, like the drug dealers started interacting with the people of praise. You know, the God's kids. The prostitutes started interacting with God's kids. The uh, alcoholics, they started interacting with God's kids. And it just became one thing. The one thing I loved is that they reached out to some of the children <coughs> in the neighborhood and, and and you know your kids are, I come to find out, the kids are safe. You know, they have a safe place to go whenever they had boys camp, girls camp, or summer camp. And then the, you had the cookouts, I think it was once a month, right there about four blocks down, and you would start seeing people walk, you know, big old banisters that was posted, and you know, cookout this certain day. Yeah. Oh my God, people was coming from everywhere. It brought the community together. It brought us all together. I love seeing that. Mm -hmm. like, seriously. And yeah. be able to actually sit down and have, and a, have a meal and a conversation. You know, without arguing or, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And the people of Praise started moving in and fixing up the houses and working with the neighborhood kids and just in general being here. and. I think a lot of difference has been made because they don't just stay in their houses. It's been nice because we share. It's nice to say, okay, can I borrow this? Do you have this tool? Can we use this? You know, George has gotten up and fixed pieces on my house. The camaraderie and the real neighborhood feeling is what I like. Elaine and Chris would come over and we would sit and talk and, I mean, it was just that fellowship. It wasn't like churchy, you know, and I don't know. <laughs> it was real. It was friendship. 